Welcome back to our Koha cataloging series. In this video, part 8, we'll learn how to generate and print spine labels and barcodes in Koha Library Management System. Spine labels, those tiny call number stickers, help keep your shelves organized. Barcodes, unique scannable IDs, make checkouts and inventory faster and more efficient. This process is essential for organizing and tracking your library materials effectively. Let's get started. Part 1. Configuring the Label Template Log in to your Koha Staff Interface. Navigate to Cataloging. Click on Label Creator. Click plus New, then choose Label Template. Our first step is to create a label template for printing both spine labels and barcodes on the same sheet. I'll be using a standard spine label sheet from Avery, which supports both laser and inkjet printers. Each label measures 21.17 mm in height and 38.1 mm in width, with 65 labels per A4 sheet, 13 rows times 5 columns. Template setup for Avery 65 labels per A4 sheet. Template code, Avery, spine, 65. Template description, Avery, 65 labels per A4 sheet, 13 rows, X5 columns. Dimensions, metric, units, choose SI millimeters, M, page size, A4, page height, 297 millimeters, page width, 200 millimeters, 210 millimeters, label dimensions, label width, 38.1 millimeters, label, height, 21.17 millimeters, margins, top page, margin, 10.7 mm, left page, margin, 4.75 mm, top text margin, 5.5 mm, left text margin, 1.5 mm, layout, number of columns, 5, number of rows, 13, gap between columns, 2.5 mm, gap between rows, 0 mm. Once you've entered all the data, review it for accuracy, then click Save to store your template. You can usually find the correct margin and label dimensions on the label packaging or the manufacturer's website. To edit the template later, click on Manage, then choose Label Templates, and under the Action column, click Edit. Part 2. Configuring the Label Layout for Spine Label Now we're going to set up what will be printed on the label. This is called the Label Layout. In the same Label Creator tool, click plus New, then choose Layout. We'll create a layout for a spine label. Small stickers placed on a book's spine showing the call number for easy shelf identification. Layout Settings Layout Name Spine Label Barcode Encoding Code 39 Layout Type Only the bibliographic data is printed. Order of text fields to print. Item call number. Copyright date. Additional settings. Draw guide boxes. Checked. Split call numbers. Checked. Text justification. Center or adjust to your preference. Font. Times bold. Font size. 10. Barcode. Width. 0.8. Barcode. Height. 0.01. Oblique title. Checked. Once you've entered all the details, click Save to store your layout. Part 3. Configuring the label layout for barcode. In the same label creator tool, click plus new, then choose layout. We'll now create a layout for barcodes, unique machine-readable codes assigned to library items for tracking, circulation, and inventory management. Layout settings, layout name, barcode, barcode, encoding, code 39, layout type, only the barcode is printed, order of text fields to print, barcode, additional settings, draw guide boxes, checked, split call numbers, not checked, Text, Justification, Center, Font, Times Roman, Font Size, 8, Barcode Width, 0.8, Barcode Height, 0.01, Oblique Title, Checked. After entering all the details, click Save to store the layout. Part 4. Creating a label batch to print both spine labels and barcodes. Click Plus New, then select Label Batch. Add items by entering barcodes or item numbers, one number per line in the box. After entering the values, click plus Add Items. You'll now see the added items listed. You can remove any if needed. You can also add more by typing them in and clicking plus Add Items again. Once done, click Export Full Batch. For spine label printing, select Template, Avery Spine, 65. Select Layout, Spine Label. Enter Starting Label Position for PDF. Enter Number as needed. Click Export. Click Download as PDF. You can generate barcodes the same way. Test printed labels with a scanner to ensure they work in Koha. That's it. See you in part 9 of our Koha cataloging series.